and welcome everyone and if you're coming from the stock market class well this is actually a video continuation of the past video that I talked about the stock market tariffs what is going to happen next and what you should be doing as well so where I left off last time is that the stock market reached all-time high and I don't think it's gonna go really anymore up that was my thesis back then and this was just very recently right before the stock market starts to go down like this just dive down and of course you're probably wondering what's gonna happen next and what was my call on this what did I do with my money so first thing is what I did is I went straight to gold that's right I sold all my stocks and I invested straight in gold stocks gold miners to be specific so what I thought would be a safe location to put them into before the next leg down or of course leg up. And with gold you're pretty much safe because it usually trades within a range. And when the stock market goes at all time high, usually gold is pretty low. So this is the time for you to get into gold itself. Is it too late yet? No it's not. You can still get into gold right now and if you're not suffering big losses you can go ahead and move your stocks over there now what's going to happen next is the power there's going to be a trade delegation going to washington and they are supposed to come up with this deal before the end of the week and if they do then of course there is not going to be the 25 percent tariffs that is going to be on everything else that china actually imports to united states so that's actually the plan but unfortunately nothing always goes as planned and there is something that you don't understand and other people don't understand is that china doesn't want to get humiliated this is the big deal china doesn't want to get humiliated by anything from the west and this is going back almost 200 or so years ago well, the Western powers actually forced China to accept unilateral conditions and terms where Hong Kong and another city was given to Great Britain to rule for over a hundred something years. And China was not happy with this deal at all. So they don't like being forced to do a unilateral one-sided deal and the Trump tariffs are really uh, one-sided in terms of like the enforcement mechanism in this whole thing is like the power if China doesn't listen there's going to be tariffs that could instantly be put in some of the tariffs he doesn't want to take out he wants to force Americans to buy American stuff he doesn't want people to buy made in china things what he's actually doing is reversing the things that bill clinton actually did during his presidency he made everything global he wanted to open the united states to open new markets he wanted this to be an international world versus trump he doesn't want internationalism he wants everything to be united states only United States is the best, nothing better than the United States. Everything has to be made in America, by America. America is great again. So that's his actual thesis and he's trying to go through this throughout his entire presidency. Unfortunately, Chinese don't really like this kind of stuff and what they're actually doing, they're holding off. They are trying to negotiate as slow as they can and hopefully what they want to actually do is to get to the next election cycle and time is running out for trump in fact well there's about 500 something days left until the next election and with the next election well new either new president is going to come in or he is going to stay in for them maybe the best deal is for them to actually influence the election by making him lose the only way he's going to lose is if the stock market and this is the only thing that's going really good for Trump is actually the stock market itself. Everything else is not doing as great as he wants to, but nobody really cares because in America, the only thing that a lot of people really care about is money. And because of that, if and as long as he's making money for people, that's all that really matters. So the way that they can actually do this, the way they can go ahead and change the the whole game is simply to sink the stock market and force Trump to negotiating table and 
make some kind of concessions and a deal and Trump doesn't want to actually do that he wants to be always the top dog in this one and I don't think he's gonna become a top dog in this one I think he's gonna become either the bottom dog or he's not gonna get this deal actually done so it's really is he storms all the highway and I think the Chinese really don't want to play this game they actually are much smarter much smarter than he really thinks they are so what's going to happen is the following i think i think the in the next few days definitely the talks are going to go on i don't think they're going to sign anything more than likely either they're going to kick the can down the road another extension of a few extra months or of course it's going to be totally different they're just going to walk off the table they're going to do something different they want to show that they have some leverage here as well not just him that he can just play around and force them to go ahead and do this they have totally different audience keep this in mind that in china most people are not investing in the stock market most people who are billion or so people don't really care about the stock market itself so even if the stock market actually thinks this is just like a very small percent of the population that actually cares about stocks in the whole entire country so that being said and done i think that's going to happen with, with actual stocks but with trump well it's going to be very interesting because people are very thinking that he's going to get re-elected in the next few years but his entire election his entire hope of winning is a hundred percent sitting in the stock market and because of that if he thinks or someone else thinks the stock market for him such as the Chinese themselves by not signing the deal that's the easiest thing for them to do then he's not gonna win and they are rest assured that the next president of the United States is gonna go ahead and scrape this entire deal and maybe starts something else so his tariffs are gonna be worthless if China can actually make it in the next 500 plus so days until the next election cycle if you did enjoy this video and learn something new make sure you sub to this channel and thankfully and hopefully i will see you in the next video if you did enjoy this video and you love it and of course you want to learn more well make sure you sub to this channel i will see you on the inside in the next episode of the geek tech show